pink sticky mess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, well, too there's, bad, there's thank there's you very much. Much. I think the makeup was too bad. How did, <laughs> how did you get the name? Um, Blumange. It came from a, uh, you know when you have a party and you still have a fancy dress party or anything like that? Yeah. Well, Stephen had a Blumange party, which he served up all these kind of uh, moulded uh, rabbits. You're joking. <laughs> Blumange. Yeah, yeah. mouldy rabbits, you say? Mouldy oh, rabbits. rabbits. <laughs> yeah, mouldy rabbits. <laughs> Go on, okay. carry on. Yeah. <laughs> and, um... We just decided to call it Blumange. Didn't want to call it the cooling towers or the bleak industrial buildings or anything like that. Great. Well, it's so different. To call it Blumange. Steve, you've, you've both got sort of very different musical tastes. I mean, you were into synthesizers and sort of kneels into the Beatles and things it's like that. That's really true. It's a bit of a <laughs> but, but, well, I mean, how come <coughs> you got together? You've got sort of different musical tastes. Probably because of that, I think. It's the, we had different ideas that seemed to sort of gel, if you like, you know. <laughs> gel, as in Blumange. Yeah. Joke there, folks. <laughs> Now, when you began, you started experimenting with uh, kitchen utensils. Tell us a bit about that, Neil. We used to use uh, Tupperware for uh, drums and um, plastic tubes, and I can't mention the particular name of. Uh, no, I'll say it's, it's it's the smash tin, which is excellent for a snare drum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and things like because, that. Because I mean, you've you developed that slightly because in the single "Living on the Ceiling," you used sitars and things like That's that. Right, I mean, yeah. is this is this one of your characteristics of the band that you tried to use? We use lots of different instruments. Yeah, we like to use as, as many different uh, instruments as possible. We're not just a synthesised duo, as you no. can see from the latest single. That's right. That's right. And talking about the latest single, uh, "Blind Visions," it was recorded in America, wasn't it? Why was that? Um, partly because of the, the producer we wanted to work with, and also the the atmosphere of the place. It was very different to London. It wasn't so much equipment or anything like that, but just New York, yeah. very sort of live and yeah. buzzing. Is it any different recording over there to recording over here? Um, the studio, some of the facilities in the studios are quite different, but um, it was the producer that we used. It was excellent. Mm -hmm. A bloke called John Luongo. Yeah. Just an amazing guy to work with. Really? And that was one Have you actually played also. live over there? Uh, yes, we did two dates at the Ritz in uh, New York. What was it like? It was excellent, really good. Because I remember talking to the guy from Depeche Mode last year, and he was saying he could not believe the response when they got over there. I mean, it was like sort of they chased him out of the out of the uh, gig, and they were banging on the cars. I mean, was it quite as <laughs> as bad as that for you, or as good as that for you? It depends on where you put it, doesn't it? Uh, did we get chased? Um, I got chased when I didn't pay for a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we probably shouldn't talk about that in great detail. Now let's talk a, a little bit about the uh, the new single. You did this on top of the pops the other night. That's right. Who, who were the people that you used? They were, they were playing with you. A horn section. Who was who? Um, they're, they're jazz musicians actually. One really? of them plays in a group called Nucleus. Yeah. Um, and the two the two girls are part of a uh, trio called the Sapphires. Right. There's Ruby and Sylvia and Vicky. We used Ruby and Vicky that night because yes. Sylvia was on holiday or something. I noticed that there were loads of people with you. Um, are you influenced by anybody in particular, Neil, musically? Musically, um, not anybody in particular, and it's not just from music anyway, it's from all different aspects of life. Ideas come That's right, whizzing yeah. at you. I like right. Fats Waller. Really? A lot. I yeah. do as well, fantastic, mm. marvellous. You're a, you're a local lad as well, aren't you? That's right, I come from Dawn, near Blackburn. Yes. And uh, I think there's some people in the audience from Dawn. They yes, there certainly the are. Brown is from, is it? Um, Holy Trinity. Yeah. I'll say yeah. hello to them. Hello, right girls. Right over there. Right, so a big thank you to Steve Lascom and Neil Arthur from Blamange. Thank you. Now let's have a look at that latest video. It's the first time it's ever been seen on TV, Blamange with Blind Vision.